2014 AUSA for Phantom Badger. We're showing our new mortar and ammunition module. It's, uh, the vehicle itself is a modular design, so we can swap out modules and give operators additional mission um, flexibility. Our modular design focuses from the what we call the B-bar back. This is, uh, this is the new mortar and ammunition module. What we've done is we've taken the Army's 120 millimeter uh, mortar and fire control system and integrated it into a nice tight package along with 22 rounds of, of uh, ammunition. The uh, fire control console display pops out here. It stows back in line so that it still is a nice tight package for internal uh, transportation inside a V-22 or Chinook aircraft. The, uh, the mortar system itself is hydraulically lowered down to the ground so the mortar would fire from the, the base plate attached to the ground itself. It can detach from our pivot arm so it can be maneuvered for any azimuth or elevation change that needs to be done and then quickly hooked back up and hydraulically lifted back up into the vehicle. The other thing that we've done for an innovative solution is our trailer capability matches our modular capability on the, on the vehicle. So we've designed a compatible ammunition module. This one here would carry 52 rounds of ammunition to supplement the 22 rounds that's carried on the, on the mortar system itself. So this is a, a very small package that would be drive on, drive off for a Chinook aircraft and bring a lot of lethality and firepower for indirect fires. So for other platforms, the, the vehicle is sling load capable. So that would be Chinook, uh, V-22, UH-60. Uh, it's airdrop capable for C-17, C-130. And then for internal transport, it's a Chinook, CH-53, and V-22. So the target market for this type of capability would be elements of the U.S. Army as well as the U.S. Marine Corps for their um, prime mover and expeditionary fire support system.